Uh, Jeff Miller, I run Cool Beans Digital out of Miami, Florida. I also run a Facebook group with a butt on it. Um, that's it, my name is Jeff. One of the biggest problems I had before reaching out to Mike Mark is, um, it's gonna sound weird, but it was a problem based out of success. Like I had my course, my coaching program, it was getting results, which meant more people were interested in my course, my coaching program, which meant I was taking more sales calls. And I think like historically, you can take two or three before you burn out. I was taking 10 a day. And when that happens, you just end up hating everything. And I remember being on the phone with Mike Mark saying like, I have a problem, I don't know a solution. I just wanna pay you money and solve my problem. And within about a week or so, we had, uh, I think it was three seven-figure salespeople who just solved the bottleneck in my business. So I could actually be a business owner and not somebody that was a highly paid technician um, and work on my business and not necessarily just in my business. What was really cool about working with Mike, Mark, and the team is I got a very specific result. Within about a week or so, I got three seven-figure salespeople that were onboarded, competent, proficient, knew what to do, how to do it, familiar with me, my offer, the market, everything that I could imagine. And I didn't have to train them because Mike, Mark, and Cody had a process on keeping them up to speed, what I should be doing with them, how they would be taking the initiative. So I wasn't like adding work to my plate. They were just solving problems in exchange for money, which is ultimately what I wanted. One of the biggest concerns I had before, before paying Mike Mark and hiring his team was, am I ready? And do I have to do more stuff? Because I wasn't really in the, like, the emotional or, or time space to say I can take on more work. I was already doing like 10 sales, all, sales calls a day, plus all the other things I was signed up to do. And so the biggest problem I had was going to Mike Mark and saying, is this going to add time or take away time? And ultimately what I found out is that by hiring him and his team, I added three or four hours a day. I got a better bang for my buck. I got a higher yield on my sales calls. And more importantly, people actually went through the sales process, were better fits, better qualified, and more excited than if I did the sales call myself. One of the things that got me past that concern was actually chatting with the people on his team. And I mean, I do Google Slides all the time, so I just put like, guys, this is my biggest concern. Like, I don't have enough time to take on additional obligation. And then Mike Mark showed me his process, his onboarding process, uh, his dedicated support, what he does, how he does, and all that, which kind of relieved a lot of fears that I had. Um, and ultimately, just by getting on the phone with him, we discovered it was a good fit. It was, and I've been happier ever since. One of the weirdest things, or one of the biggest things that, uh, that was a surprise for me when I wasn't taking sales calls, is that the salesperson was better at the sales call than I was. Because as a business owner, you have like five or six things going on. You're always wondering about active campaign or Zapier or the next post or an ads campaign. And as a function of distraction, your sales calls are worse. The weirdest thing is being at conferences like this and then having a X number of dollars come in because of a sales call. Like you just got a Stripe notification. And then you get a message from that person who paid money saying this is the best process I've ever been to. I had an absolute, absolutely fantastic time with Brett. Thanks so much. I'm excited to get started with my next step. It just happened. Wait, so you were here and you made a sale while you were at the yes. sales incentive? Yes, I was here at the sales team incentive and Brett, my sales guy, was making sales. We've made a sale every day for the past seven days except for today, but he's got another meeting so who knows if that'll happen. But the sales happens without me doing it, which is, how it's supposed to be. If you're really sitting on the fence, it's really a function of am I ready, am I deserving, should I be doing it? And the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Like If you have a proven offer and people want to pay you money and you're the bottleneck and you're the constriction of you and your business, your best bet is simply to pay somebody to solve that problem and not go through the emotional ups and downs of, like, uh, of splitting time and splitting focus and alt-tabbing during your Zoom calls and trying to change meetings. Just simply hire someone to solve that problem and your business will incrementally improve because of it.